All right, I'm starting a video. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, class. This is what we want to discuss today. It's a Java class for beginners. We assume somebody following this tutorial doesn't know anything about Java. So we're going to start from right from the beginning to answer. It. And we're going to discuss these topics and many, maybe plus others. So the first thing is that we're going to be using Eclipse as our IDE and I'm starting the Eclipse. So Eclipse is being initialized. Uh, it is involved and it is uh, uh, starting. All right, this is the the workspace workspace is a folder where our projects are being kept that's the simple definition of workspace and i think this is the workspace we created java for the for beginners i think right so let's move into the workspace Eclipse is what is um, loading the workspace and let's give it some time. I don't know why it is taking time, but uh, on the topic here, we want to create project, create class, and print some text. Then we'll talk about variables. From there, talk about how to get input from user. And then a possible we think we'll talk about working with strings uh, we're going to be using this book java all-in-one and there are some topics from the table of content uh, if you check on on this This is a program written by the dog law the owner of java how to program i mean the auto rather and this program or this this uh, application is going to print out hello world so let's do same well when when our eclipse uh, opens to the environment where we can create project and class Please, before while the eclipse is uh, working towards uh, opening our uh, uh, um, environment, let's look into this. This is what we call a class. Of course, a Java program contains classes, not only one class, classes. You don't write all the whole, you don't develop one uh, software in single class. Actually, that's not a good design. You define classes, each class should handle a particular portion of a functionalities, uh, depending what you're doing. So this is a simple class, which is uh, just a, a, a class which is named Hello R. And you know, while declaring class, you need to come up with the class keyword. This is what and what defines this as class. In Java, you have to do this, and not only Java, most of object-oriented program. I mean, even if you are working with C sharp, you have to define this class uh, class keyword. This public is 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 an is an ident is is an uh, is what we call visibility or specifier it, it, it specifies the visibility or whether this class can be is visible by all objects within the package within the class or just visible by some object and not all 
whether it is private, public, protected, or uh, all right, it has opened to this. <coughs> okay. Okay, I think this is this is the the workspace with error, and I think we created another one. Let me check on this. And that's the reason why it took time. You may create another workspace. See this as it is opening. So then we have what we call a main method. Of course, each and every Java, pro Java class must have a, a main method. But if in a project, one Java class has main method, it's OK. Others might, might, might not have main method. This main method, that's where uh, in, this is the implementation section of the program. That is, that is where program Java program begins running. Even if this uh, main class happens to be the last part of your your lines or lines of codes in in a given a in a given uh, 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 program, then Java program begins running from here. So this, I mean, IDE has opened, and I'm going to create a class, and I will give it a, a let's create a project, and we'll give it beginners or something. To create a, a project, is in us uh, let's let's create uh, another let's create another uh, workspace i mean yes workspace i think it will be better so here you create a folder let's see Java is for beginners twenty twenty two. I think this will be better. So we have our own uh, workspace purposely for this class. So whatever you write within here is going to be executed. This is a very, very simple uh, kind of. Uh, okay. Yes, for the This is a very simple program uh, using here. This is simple. Out dot print. Uh, uh, print L uh, L N. Mm -hmm. Yellow wall. If you show it, uh, if you should add a color to one second now, I tell you what it is. Print of the display. Yellow wall. Yes. But if I want to also involve. Uh, scan eight, like what's my Java hotel scan? So once now, if this can, if this does this can print it out, show it to me on my screen. You understand? What is this of important Java here? The importation, uh, importing Java, uh, Java utils. So let me scan again. You understand? Mm. What's the essence also, of importing yes, Java utils? Uh, actually, you have to import because uh, Java Java.util is a library. Yeah. It's a library that contains many, 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 many more classes and methods. So, scanner class is a class that was defined under Java Util. So, you have to do that for you to. Don't worry, you see examples. Uh, it has already opened to this. So, when you create a new workspace, this is what you see. So you click on workbench and then it opens to this. Please don't forget, we talk about what something called perspective. Perspective, please, this, this is what I'm saying. We have to talk about something we call pass perspective. Perspective, sorry, the spelling is not correct. Yes, this is it. Perspective. So this perspective, look at you click on you check on perspective and then you click on Java. This perspective, the current perspective as 
uh, as uh, we are being, uh, as we are seeing, it's, it's for Java E. Can you see? But if you click on this, you see it takes you to perspective, which is Java perspective. So this is Java SE perspective, please. Java SE perspective. Please let me make some changes. I don't know if this is okay by you. Uh, I want to change this to something. Then it will be more. Is it okay? Yeah, it's changing the screen of the just the yeah. thing. So now let I'm going to create a class. I click on fire and I click, I mean, a, a Java project. I click on fire and I click on Java projects. This opens up for you to write. Is it okay? Are you seeing what is there? Yes, yeah. Okay. Project name. Then you write project name. This project name, we want to give it hello, hello app. Here you give you writing the name of the app. Okay, so you click on. These are selections for the Java runtime. Leave it as default. Then you click on OK. Unless if you want to run your project on uh, a given Java run uh, runtime environment, then so this is where we had issue with uh, Java runtime. Oh, I'm sorry. And I don't want us to take time to correct this. It is the runtime, I know, the library, the JRE. Sorry, let me use the other uh, perspectives. Maybe before we come to the next class, I correct it to this. Let me use this uh, ID, I mean, workspace. There are some, I did some uh, configurations for one project. It's the one affecting what we're doing here. So let's use the other project. I mean the workspace so we don't waste time uh, all right let's use this uh, create java let's see java say hello hello app project and then you finish so this works correctly do we convert this to <coughs> let's give it uh, blue it does the one it's on this only classic okay let it check the dark I think it's okay. so we've created a class I mean no, you, 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 you already video is being covered. You check on. So you you right click on on the project, and then you go to new and pick class. So we want to create a class. This class is now hello, not app. Okay. It's a hello class. If you like, you can say hello world or just call it hello. Okay. Hello world. It asks you question whether you need uh, a constructor and a man. We need men for now. So it's going to create all these for you. All right. So this is what we have. This is our class. If you double click on this tab, it opens to this. Please, the first thing you do is you create this uh, comment. End of the what? End of the class. And this is and of the what? And of the main method. It seems it's not visible, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not visible. Yeah. Let's change the perspective. I mean the thing. Main method. But to me, this is better for a developer. You you need something like this for your eyes not to be affected by the rest. So let's check it. Let's take it to Windows. You see. I think this is okay, right? Yes. So this we ended. Please, how do we know that this is the end of the class? If you click on this curly braces, this is the beginning. This is the yeah. delimiter. This is where the class starts. So if you click on it, it's going to highlight this. Can you see? If I hover around here, it tells me the, it, it gives me the name of the class up there. So if you click on this as well, it it highlights here. So this is the end. And from here to here, we don't we don't need it. 
So you write whatever you want here. Let's say you're going to write, if I want to write system, that's what we call intelligence, system to out of print element, I can write this out and press shift, shift L, I mean control, control space bar. And you see, it has given me this system that out of print element. Sees out, then you press control and, and then you press uh, space bar. So it's going to give you that. So this tells you that you want to print out something. If I should run this up here, and you click on this to run, it's going to run on the console. You see, it's run nothing because you have not printed anything. So if I should write something here, if I write Evans, for example, that's your name, right? Evans. If I write that and I press, it gives me what? Evans. If I write CloudSoft Consulting Limited, Kaduna, Nigeria. Whatever written in the court, that's how you're going to it's going to print it out as it is. Look at how how uh, let me zoom it huh, for you <coughs> to see. So if I run the program, this uh this our what? what this is what? This is the this is the the, the execute this is the result after execution. Why it's because we've written it within code like this. But you see, uh there are things you can do. This if you are going to print out something within in a in a, a variable, you don't need this code. But since it is not a variable, it's just a text, you print it like that. But within the text, that's what we call a... Actually, I'll be referring you to many, many things here. So please, you should be checking from the book. That's how we do in programming. There's something we call uh, this. This is what we call escape sequence. Escape sequences. So escape sequence gives you kind of uh, uh, commands which are being used uh, uh, with regards to backslash. You have slash n slash r. You have backslash uh, backslash backslash. Please check on this from the book. Escape sequences. Let's check from here. Escape sequences. This is how you write your land programming, please. The zooming is too much. Can you see? This these are what escape sequences. If you, if you need something on, on a, can you see this gives you backspace this gives you horizontal tab this gives you n line feed line feed means it creates line for you this gives you form feed this is, this gives you carriage return this gives you cut this gives you backslash please uh, read about these things i'm going to use one which is what this back uh, slash n and the slash t I'm going to use these two, the line feed and the the horizontal tab. Do you understand what I mean by that, Evans? If I want to cut this to, into two, instead of saying class of consulting limited as as it is from the result like this, I want to cut it class of consulting limited then Kaduna, Kaduna Nigeria, where down. In the next line, that's what we call line feed. Huh? So what do you do within here? You only introduce back backslash n. Then it will cut it. This line, this line. Yes, you see that the last line. So can you see something? One needs to understand this. 
but then I need to cut it from here. I don't need I, I don't need space. You know the result shows this is the result, right? This was the result for the first running. Then you, you cut on this. Can you see? I don't need this space actually. So I don't need this space. So like this. Right? The space is uh can you see something? Yeah. Huh? So this is slash n. What if I need something uh, that talks about um, while we're not formatting something? Please, uh, let's just take it this way. Let's concentrate on other things. We're going to talk about string formatting and all that. Then we 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 do on things like that. So this is what we have. This is because we have we have Im Im embedded a really code and it has printed for us. Can we move further? Yeah. So now this this is our program when when run, this is all it it does. This doesn't solve much problems actually. It is just kind of a, a, a program that executes something and displays. We want to write program that that will be collecting inputs from user. For you to do that, you have to run into what we call variables. You need to run, you need to learn Java variables. How do you you know store Java variables and then we we'll move to what we call scanner class and we we learn things like that. Can we do that? So let's check on variables uh, here. So variables, this data type in general, data type in general. So let me just move to <coughs> working with what variables and data type. So this is the old copy of the book, right? That's why it is not. Uh, that's it. All right so this is the topic okay working with variables creating proper variables declarations you declare variables so please let's dive into this variable declarations declaring declaring of variables variables are also like you to creating programming calculation please read about this uh, we don't have time to go through this text. Read about these uh, variables, okay? But uh, one thing you need to understand in Java, you need to declare variables, explicit declaration of variables. Java, Java is one of the programming languages that is type, you know, titled as strong type. It is a strong type programming language. Strong type written this way, variables. That is what a strong type. That means whenever, whenever you want to use kind of a variable, you have to declare it explicitly. For example, basic form of variable declaration is you come up with a type and then you call the name of the variable. For example, I want to declare something x, x, x. Then I need to define it. I need to call this. I need to call the type. What is the type of this x? Int. So then you need to know about what we call variable types, I mean data types. So we have x different data types in Java, but we have two types of variables, uh, data types. Data types are two of two types. One is the primitive and the other one is referenced. Please read about these things. Primitive, primitive, primitive type and the reference type. Primitive data type and the referenced data type. Referenced. 
Then what are primitive data types? The primitive data types are eight in number. So we have eight primitive. Primitive data types. Sorry. Typing very fast. These eight primitive data types are one. Um, what? We have int, we have short, we have long, we have double, we have float. Let me use counting numbers, I think, to be better. We have float. Then we have a cap. <laughs> Oh, chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we have uh, bullying. Yeah. Mm. Victor says bullying. Then we have um, what again? The last one. The last but not the least. In short, long, double, float, care, bullying. What is the last? I forgot the last. Uh, maybe I'll recall. Uh, for the referenced, referenced, we 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 don't we don't we don't know number of referenced um, data types. Okay, because these are are created from classes. From Java classes and Java classes are, are, are run in thousands and thousands of, of, of classes but a very good example of a reference data type is the string for example string is a reference data type okay. bytes. bytes thank you the byte right so you need to master this, please. You need to uh, know how to. The differences between this, this, this three are all integer, but the differences is the 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 sizes, the bytes, number of bytes it takes, the long, the short, and this. These two are all double, but the difference is the precision. And then we have car and boolean and then byte. So please take take you now take cognizance from from this in you check from the book. We don't have time to go through these theories. Maybe with time we just you know highlight thing how, how, how we're going to highlight how the usage of that during, during, while we're writing course. So please, uh, if you want to define a variable, you call the type first, then the name of the variable. For example, you see now string. This is a reference type. And then you call name double you call this all right so let's take this at the advantage to write a, a, something good uh, the, the program let's say let's write a program the the just can we cap, can we start calculating hmm? Thanks, okay can we go okay before calculating calculations let's let's combat this Hello world to something that collects you know <laughs> name from user and, and does something. So I'm going to clean this. I'm going to clean this. So I want us to write a program that collects a user's name and collects his school name and then greets him and tells him that he belongs to a school. So let's write the the business of the business logic or something. This is the question. Write a Java program. You see, I'm commenting. Please, this is what we call inline comment. When you introduce this for two forward slash, Java compiler doesn't compile this. So write a Java program. That collects the user's name. 
user's name collect user's name user's name come and the school that means it collects user's name and school let's see it school name ICT school name and and program okay I'm changing what I said then display this info on screen so this is what I want us to do the first thing is uh, uh, we need to define variables first we need name of user and name it's a, it's a string right so you say uh, string name which is a string right so let me start with this then we we also collect what school let me do something like this school name it is also a string then you collect what program that is the program the person offers program all right yes, sir. then uh, this is what we need all these are variables but they are termed local variables why are they local variables because they are being declared within the scope of a method and this method is called main method all right they are all local variables so, but then these variables will not work for us just like that. Uh, we have to define the variables. We're going to be collecting the scanner class variables or scanner class, yeah, variable objects. Scanner class variables. So this kind of class variables, we call them from where? This is how you how you do. You see, you see scanner, sc, sc name. The new scanner okay can you see some error messages yes, sir. this is because we have not done an input Evans you are the one who asks a question why are we importing this is because this this is a class uh, we want to declare a variable here we have to call the type of the variable this is also a variable declaration so now it's telling us that we have to make an import look at something here these are suggestions but the first suggestion it's is the correct one that we have to import java.util so if you click on it then it it imports java.util that scanner that means we are importing all this kind of class from this library. Are we there? From the YouTube library. But then here it's also giving us something. You need to, you know, uh, give in a, a parameter here, an argument. You need to pass an argument. You now say system.in. So this is the argument. And then all error messages are gone. So you need to do this for the whole three uh variables you're going to be collecting of course you can use one but then i want us to write something for beginners so you now say uh school name right let's see school name and then program is huh? okay, this is a local variable this holds whatever you get from the inputs and these are instances from the scanner class so you need to define these actually this is what we're doing this is what we're doing 
Now what I'm saying is again, uh, the second one. Twelve two. Yes. You said here one. And here. S C S C. School name. Okay, school name. Yeah. Right. Corrected, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, school name. Look at what how I have done the, the variable for the local variable. Maybe you make this capital, then it's, it gives you something. You know what? In programming, that's what we call camel case, you know, you know kind of uh, lower case, upper case. This is kind of camel case. We, we don't want to introduce spaces. That's why we bring in some some things capital or other that it's just for declarations whenever you are defining a class you try to do something make the variable class variables or your variables to be to take the meanings of what you want to use them for that's the convention they should be descriptive please okay so now we we want to introduce user we want to tell user to supply kind of uh, either name or something. Let's start by name. So you now say system.out.println. So you now write sysout. If you write something like this, it gives you complete, this is a shorthand, sysout. You know, while you're developing, it's always, it's always uh, actually recommended that one should be very, very fast. We are not saying you should be fast more than necessary. <clears throat> we need speed and accuracy, please. So accuracy is an efficiency. It's, it's much, much more uh, needed than the past or the speed. So you tell user, please supply what? Supply what? Supply name, just name. So if you run the program, this is being displayed. This is going to be displayed fast. All right. Yes, then you collect whatever he or she entered. How do you connect that? We have already defined something called uh, a local variable, which is a name here. It has been defined. You see here, we, we it has been declared as a null string. That means as a string which contains nothing. Is it? Yeah. Then here we we call this, uh, and then you call it. Then you collect something. How do you collect? Then you collect from what the user enters this kind of class does the work for you to get whatever user enters here and it stores where here you know in here we said this is a variable and this is a value also here this is a variable this is a value but here of course uh, this is a variable instance variable of a scanner class and here you are creating the instance of the scanner class and instance means object Please don't forget. Instance means what? No, so here like, we're commenting that we're creating uh, an instance, instance or object of what? Of this kind of class. Okay. So that whatever you do, you use the objects to access what you want from this kind of class. This is what it means. So you now pick this uh, instance. And then you get whatever that is there. Getting it, you're going to say uh, dot next. Dot next what? What do you want to get? Name. What is the type of a name? What is the data type? It's a string. But if you say dot next string, you're going to run into issues because it's collect only uh, whatever that is written before uh, within spaces. Once somebody creates a space, it will not. So we need the whole line, right? So you now say dot next line. So this collects everything. Please check on this dot next line and dot next string from the book. Get the theories and read about it. You know, we don't have time really. So this is what you're going to see here. It collects. So please, let's test this. Now, let's test our result of the program. I just want to collect the name. And print it out. So how do we get that? You now see system without a printer name. Alright? And then you print out what? The name. Okay. So this print out name for you. So let's execute. 
we are executing we are executing ninety eight percent of execution all right it has executed let me magnify for you to see it very well Sorry, I don't know why my system is sometimes somehow slow. I was supposed to restart it before we start. Let it respond, please. So the expectation is that um, well, we just supply name and it collects name from user and then it prints out the name. So this, I think, uh, what is happening? Huh? Like the system hangs or okay. something. It's not responding. It's not responding. Let's let's give it time. All right. I think it's visible, right? Let's let's just it's visible. Yeah. Please supply name. I wanted to kind of Let me just continue without the uh, zooming. Sometimes, if you connect your system with uh, with projector, it does this uh, misbehaving. It misbehaves. You know we are on video. Uh, this is going to affect the video, and I don't want to stop it because we have to start another video if we should stop it. Huh? But I've never seen this. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's let's continue. It's back. Uh, so here, when I enter name Victor, for example, and I press enter, it tells me Victor. That means the one down there is the uh, the result. It's print house. You know, formally you. The program we, we, we lost the first time is just displaying something without collecting anything from the user. So this is what you do for the whole uh, questions here. You do something here for for both the institution you collect from you now see supply ICT school name 
and then you collect this ICT schooner. Sorry, ICT, yeah, uh, from above here, yeah, school name, the variable, local variable, school name, local variable, yes, school name, local variable, then that's why copy and paste in programming is not really, it's not recommended. Then you, this is also a string, so you now see next what? Next line. So you've collected every, you're going to collect everything, and then you do for the what the program somebody is offering uh, let's see supply program program that is the cost offering because you're offering in this school and then here we store it here and program I pick this and then you now say the next next line and for this then you can now for the result you can now see uh, my name you can just say name and then plus name please who please who understand this 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 is how it's going to be printed the way it is in court yes. as a string and then this is what a variable whatever name you collect then what is this plus sign that's concatenation of rental it concatenates concatenation concatenation please check on this if you use a plus sign before or after a code it gives you concatenation but if you use a plus sign in between numbers it gives you plus operator plus sign operator please take note of this so here it does concatenation so you can do same for so this is a new plus name now for example this concatenation is available here. Yes. So because of uh, with this one with the these two parentheses, it's the one that the system has to get a big cross. This this tells the user what you're doing here because if you pass Evans here, you only see Evans. What is Evans? It's a name. Yeah. This is the description. So for this here, um let's see school. ICT school name. ICT school name for example then you call this ICT school name this is school name concatenate concatenating means margin it all right merging to merge two things yeah she's out then you introduce what this and program here it's a variable in here this is a description to the user program or uh, let's run before running let me create something here this is what we used to do if we want to print out something in the console and we want to draw attention we can introduce something like this for example, but we stop doing this actually now, these days. Uh, it asks you of, uh, let's say, Victor. Victor, what's your second name? Your second name is somehow, let me say, Victor E. Then Supply ICT School, you know, it's going to be CloudSoft, this school that is giving you this, this uh, uh, tutorial free of charge. CloudSoft Consulting. That's those guys following us on YouTube. Consulting Limited. Next, supply program. What program is this? You know, Victor does a lot of programs here. He does a mobile application development using Xamarin. Let's go by that. Uh, but this one is this is this is Java SE. Java SE. 
development when you press enter can you see what this is the result this is the result you see now your program you, you started collecting input from user you, you understand use you know or manipulating it to something different now let's let's quickly uh, do something here I'm going to collect this because it is long I'm going to take the name of the institution I want to have a space here in between uh, where it stopped collecting and where you know, if I want to introduce space here and I want to you know check on something here I have to print out something here she's out I can just say within cut or just just a system. if I say system dollar print ln, what does it do? System this this command system dollar print ln. Yes, this create line for you. It create line. If you put in something, it print out that thing and create line. This is same thing as using one of the escape sequences we talk about here. The escape sequences I said you should go and dig in. Understand the meanings of all the escape sequences, please. This backslash n. If I use this, yes, or uh, this, this is same as saying backslash n. All right. So let's run it. All right, and it's here. Name of okay. I didn't write any. Sorry. Let me rerun. Name Evans. <laughs> he wants his name to be pronounced here. Evans, let, give me your second name. Okay, Kizito. Kizito, spell it K I K I Z I Z I double T O. Kizito. Next, ICT school name. This copied program Java SC. Java console, Java SE for beginners, right? Dead. That's what Evans is running in here. Then when I press it, can you see there's there's what there's gap. Yes. So let's 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 comment. Let's comment this and enable. But you know this, you can't just see it as as it is like this. Sorry, sir. I want to see something here. Yeah. For example, here, this is ten dots out of print. Okay, okay, okay. I can see your comment here. This is just that's why the I commented yeah. that it's yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. same. But if you want to use this, you know, you have to use system without the printer link, but within cut, yeah. then you now say backslash in. It's same thing. It's like this is a tautology. Yeah, it's a tautology. You will repeat in something on some. Yeah. Understand? So this is okay. It all depends what you're practicing. Please let's check on some things here. Here we, we collect what? We collect dot next. For the name, let me remove this dot next. Let me replace it with dot string. Dot next string. Just dot next. This collects only string, right? Yes. Dot next. So let's see the result of that next. I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm doing. I want us to practice. If you remove that next line, what will happen? Yeah. And then the next, next. What's your your name? Said. Said. Uh, Mur. 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 Two names, right? Next. School name: CloudSoft. Consulting Limited. Kaduna. In Nigeria. Yakubu Gongwe. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> then uh, program. Let's see. Okay, you know the offering Xamarin, but let me just give you mobile app development with Xamarin. And presenter. Can you see what happened? It truncated your second name. Why? Because I told you if you use string, it's going to pick whatever you write. The moment you press space bar, okay. that's the end of what it's going to connect for you. It takes the text. It takes the text. It takes whatever 
uh, written before space bar. Okay, so you have to be very careful. Please check on these methods on and on the scanner class. Check on them and understand how they are. So this is that's it about it. Then we're going to stop here. Your assignment is this. Assignment. Write a Java program. that computes the prompt user to enter radius and compute Radius of a cycle and compute the following. One. What is it going to compute? Uh, Area of a cycle perimeter of a cycle now to write perimeter I think this spelling is not correct. Okay, thinking whether we're writing parameter. Perimeter of the cycle. And I think that's that. So you collect input from user, get it and make your uh not use the the math class for the predefined values. Like for example, you want to make um, you, you have to use perimeter. You have to use a, you have to use a math class for you to get the um, the value of pi, e.g. the pi value, right? So so if you want to get uh, like square, you don't say this times that, this times this. You don't say two times two. To give you four. No, please use the math class. Something like that. So this is your assignment. I'm going to upload the video immediately after. Can I please finish copying this? Okay, let me stop the video. Thank you for watching.